All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Type F mod, which is being made by form user Stinky Ace. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is none other than the Type F Galileo shuttlecraft from the original Star Trek series. And oh, I cannot tell you how much I love that, being a Star Trek nerd. Any spacecraft added in to this game from that franchise is a wonderful thing. And thankfully, we know that this is going to be some pretty good quality work here, considering it's being made by the same modder who has recently been diligently working to add in a whole load of Star Wars spacecraft into this game. So it looks like he perhaps took a little bit of a break to bring us at least one Star Trek thing. And oh, I love it. So let's head right on into the space plane hangar and take a look at, yeah, the one singular part in this mod. Now, sadly, we are only getting the Type F shuttlecraft right now, as you can see right here. Hopefully, he'll make some more in the future, as he has been doing with the Star Wars spacecraft. But for now, we have the Federation Type F shuttlecraft Galileo 7. And here it is in all of its splendid glory, complete with a full complement of crew in the inside of the shuttle, which includes some poor, poor red shirts who, <laughs> oh, they're going to die. But yes, it is a very gorgeously built model here with basically every detail I can at least think of. Granted, it honestly has been quite some time since I've watched the original series, but this looks like the shuttlecraft from the original down to the smallest detail, and that is pretty freaking sweet. And you know me, I'm always a sucker for animated parts, so we do have the gear in the back, which can be lifted up and brought right in there, and we also do have the door which can open and close, which uh, does mean we can get a little bit better of a look at some of the crew inside, which uh, <laughs> is honestly a little bit unnerving. I kind of like the idea of seeing the crew, but at the same time, I don't know, they they just, they're standing on their chairs, and for some reason that weirds me out. <laughs> but nonetheless, we have our interior crew. Now, as for the actual usable stats in this game, it is actually quite a heavy vessel at 35.5 tons, and can actually only carry one crew member by default. But on the mod page, he does say on there to go ahead and change the config file if you want to fit more. I'm leaving it at the one though, because that's how, of course, the download came. Now besides that, it does have a built-in alternator, which is constantly producing electricity, and in fact we have two as you can see here, does require one crew member minimum to operate, does have a data transmitter, an engine, well actually two engine nacelles rather, that can produce a whopping 2,000 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum using liquid fuel and oxidizer, but frankly, that, that's meaningless. The ISP on this thing is meaningless because, well, it creates more as you can see right here we have a generator creating a thousand liquid fuel per second a hundred mono propellant per second and a thousand oxidizer per second basically this thing can never run out of fuel no matter how hard you burn the engines It'll just keep on creating it, which I do find a little bit cheaty, but then again, I mean, it's a Star Trek shuttle. They're kind of supposed to be, but I'll admit I did ac I'd actually prefer how the Star Wars ships did it that he created, where you had to turn on the generator at the very least, so it felt a bit more realistic. You know, you're activating the generators, blah, 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 but uh, still, I mean, come on, Star Trek shuttle, I can live with it. Does also have a built-in gimbling on the engines, <laughs> always useful, a reaction wheel, a 500 electric charge, and then, frankly, some meaningless fuel tank. And overall, yeah, it's just an awesome little ship. This is one of those things, you know, you're going to use it to just screw around with in this game because, yeah, it's not really for a serious playthrough, much like with the Star Wars ships that he created, but you have it here because 
It's freaking Star Trek, and how could you not love that? So let's actually just close up the door here and uh, take this thing out to the launch pad to show off how truly powerful this thing is. And oh boy, is it powerful. Now I'm actually gonna throttle way down, just a little, just a little tap of the shift key, and we'll start the engine, and a little bit more of a tap there, and perfect, at that, we can begin to fly, but you know what? We're gonna just throttle it up a bit more because it's entertaining. And there we go, we can gear up. Of course, uh, being a ship we can't uh, with a transmitter, we can transmit data if we so desire. We can shut down the engines, all the typical things, including our open door there, which uh, I, I don't know, I, I really like that open door animation. It's, uh, it's good, but uh, yes. Even at a measly small amount of throttle, we're already going very, very quickly with this thing. Much like with, again, the Star Wars ships which we had looked at in an episode a while back now, this thing can really do whatever you need. In fact, let's just go full throttle, point this thing in the sky, and go straight to space. Oh, I forgot to hit tab and overdid it. There we go. Hit tab for the more fine-tuned controls. And yeah, just point straight up, and let's see how long it actually does take us to get into space. And I'm actually intrigued by this, because I have actually yet to take this thing up into orbit, and already... Look at that apoapsis there. We're almost at the end. There we go. Past 60,000, 80,000, and we have 100,000 meters. Technically, our apoapsis is already way into space, and we are burning up. But thankfully, this thing is very, very tough. So no matter how fast I do throttle this thing, it's not really going to blow up from heat damage because, again, hey, Star Trek, we're we're good. We're good. I mean, we do have the red shirts inside, which worries me about this uh, flight here, but oh well, we should be fine. Let's just cut off the engine as we have entered space there and see. Oh, dear Lord, there is our apoapsis now. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing can very easily get into space and do whatever it is that you need it to do, which frankly, I mean, it's a Star Trek shuttle. You really should expect that. It's just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, that's really all I do have to talk about this mod. Not a whole lot to go over considering it's one part for one ship. And again, it's just beautiful. So if you'd like to take a look at this for yourself, and I would definitely recommend that you go and do that, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.